Dr. Hi, my name is Nima Shams. I'm Vice President of Headborn here at ODG. So um, as we were discussing, ODG has been around since 1999. Uh, it's the brainchild of our CEO, Ralph Osterhout. He's a prolific inventor. He's done everything from Mattel toys to toys for Uncle Sam and the government. Um, his whole life he's been very passionate about head worn because he said all your primary sensors are on your head, your eyes, your ears, your mouth, that's where the technology should be. In about 2009, 2008, 2009, uh, he sold his previous companies and he regrouped the team and said, we want to make glasses that in essence are a head-worn computer on your head. Okay. The advantage here is they're fully integrated, they're body position independent, and they're completely private. So how else are you going to get a massive you know, screen in your world without having to you know, carry something? Sure. So this product's 5.5 ounces, resides on your head, and lets you see the full world around you. ODG is built on three uh, principles, cinema quality optics. So when you wear our optics, there is no pixelation, right? It's 720p at full resolution, the equivalent of a 65 inch display in front of you. Sure. Second one is full integration. Everything's in here, the processor, the IMUs, the camera, the sensors, the radios, GPS, all built inside in a package that's about 5.5 ounces. And the third one is extreme mobility. This is a product you can wear outdoors, indoors, you know, underneath the car or in the surgery room like you saw in that picture. Mm -hmm. That's the three pillars we stand on. So um, the R7 product, we've been launching a bunch of products. The world hasn't heard about us because we've been stealth. The R7 product's the first product uh, that we're kind of openly selling to the enterprise market. Okay. It's very robust. It's made out of metal. It's magnesium. Yeah, you got to be pretty confident like, to be Yeah, I know. Like, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> That's expensive technology. Yeah, it's, he's banging it on the table. Yeah, exactly. So this is a basically a high-end tablet on your head. I think that's a great segue into Project Horizon. Okay. Or the Project Horizon looks very similar to the R7. Yeah. It's yeah. So the Project Horizon, or as we're referring to it uh, soon as, is a uh, same technology, except up the notch. This is going to be the latest and greatest Snapdragon technology. It's actually an unannounced chip, so I can't say what the part number for it is. Okay. We're the smallest company to have a direct relationship with Qualcomm. So we're kind of taking their bleeding edge technology and putting in a sunglasses form factor. Great. This is about a 55 inch display, eight feet away. Mm -hmm. This is a 120 inch display, eight feet away. Okay. It's like sitting in the center row of an IMAX theater. Mm -hmm. I can say that confidently yeah. because the lens designer of this product yeah we stole from the movie industry. Wow. So it is that quality of resolution. Everything built in, 802.11 AC, Bluetooth, uh, three axis gyro, accelerometer, magnetometer, and six stuff capability. So the glasses will know where you are and how you interact it. Sweet. And the best part about our system is okay. it runs Android. So any Android developer can jump in and develop applications for us. Why is this superior than the camera-based system? Because yeah. it's Bluetooth low energy. It doesn't draw any power. The system camera doesn't need to turn on. It's body position independent, non-line of sight. So if I'm looking at something and I want to manipulate it, I don't have to bring my hand in the view of the camera field of view. That's so with those three, yeah, you got full 360 degree. Uh, you, would, do you want to check out some of the white field yeah. view? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's check it out. See, so this is the 4K headset, huh? So it's 1080p to each eye. Okay. So each eye is independently being driven at full 60 frames per second stream rate. So we're seeing 1080p right now, not 4K. Yeah, you're going to see 2K to each eye, okay. independent 2K. I'm curious as to see how, um, as like a see-through headset, how this will um, meld in you know, with my real environment. Let's go look at some mixed right. reality. Pre-scan the table, yeah. so those boxes are in there and the system's overlaying digital content around the real world objects. So what did you guys use to develop this? So I think that one was developed. Unity? I think it's Unity, correct. A lot of the modeling was done in Maya mm -hmm. and the augmented reality software we put on top of it is Vuforia. We could build the best hardware, but it's the software that makes it magical. So mm -hmm. we want to empower our developers. We have a full developer side. We have SDK, sample code, 3D code, AR code. That developer can jump in, that's an Android developer, and just start programming right away. But one thing we forgot to highlight is our partnership with a company called Otoy. Okay. 
Um, so Otai, I don't know if you're familiar with Jules, but they've won multiple Academy Awards for Benjamin Button and Avatar. They do this fantastic light field 3D capture and display. When Jules wore our glasses, he's like, oh my God, this is the platform I've been waiting for. So what this allows us to do is, Otoy's technology is massive, like their server farm, their renderings, their algorithms are massive. But on our device, it's very light because it's all done in the cloud and you just oh, pipe okay. it down. So because of our system knows where you are, knows how you're interacting with your environment, knows about your environment, we can create real light field imagery in our glasses using Otoy's technology. So that's just fantastic. They could also do virtual machines. So they could, you, if you want to design in Windows 10, yeah. on old, Otel has virtual machines on Windows 10. So the displays so, become basically a massive window yeah. into the cloud. Wow. Yeah. So there is, at AWE, we showcased the Batcave. Okay. Um, so uh, it's Jules's uh, old, old school Batcave, the original Batman TV series. Yeah. You wear it and you are in the Batcave and you're looking at the Batmobile and as you walk around the light and the reflection on the Batmobile is like the Batmobile is right there. It was just, it's, it was, a, we won best of show at AW, wow. uh, Augmented World Expo yeah. because of this vision of light fields and uh, mixed reality in a headset that's five ounces. I'm going to try it so bad. So it's not, it's not available today. But CES, come CES. CES. You okay. can see it at CES okay. for sure. Oh, wow. Cool. Cool. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Pleasure. Thank really you. Nice to meet you.